Maybe we should take this up to J Ski, mate. It smells a bit funky. It's got the sports wheel trims on. Tell me you didn't buy a car with no bloody MOT. Oh, McCauley wants to buy it, so. That's a good start. I'm, I'm tempted to buy it, but it's meant to be cheap. Shat on it. Yeah, I have a busy day tomorrow. Nissan Navara going out today. Probably the most powerful car I've ever had at Barra Motors. Are you done with the disco sport in here now? I am, yes. Okay. I mean that, I cracked. Not where they welded it, but and it's leaking out of there. There's two scratches going around, but that's the worst part. Tempted to take the clamp off and you could cut straight through so it'd be end to end and I could weld it up. Butts Button. up. Yeah. Okay, because you should be able to just put a yeah. round those. There's a big old tube. It's jobby, isn't it? I didn't realise it was coming on the ramp. Well, we had, Joe said this morning when he said it's blown like a foot, it's uh, farted out the back end. Well, that's oh, you, was, you get it on the way back, do you? I'm driving it back in the park. Uh, it's been like it for a little while. I'm gonna do a little video on this thing because advertised that it's a WAV. I don't know if it's better to do it out here in the showroom. Probably in the showroom. That's glaring for some. Oh, a long day. Lovely, it's lovely. Only issue is, is you can't open the driver's door on the, on the trailer, but you can open the passenger door. <laughs> so, I may have changed it now I'm out there. The other side, you can open that. Yeah, I feel like what we paid for it is actually really good. It's got a few like that there, and then the driver's side light is a bit like pushed out, but it's an It's lovely, isn't it? Where's Foldy? Hello. Hello. More paper. Loads. Awesome. Loads. Oh, it's really nice, actually. Cleaned it for a second. Did he? Yeah, the wheels need redoing. Let's have a look. No, they don't. Ooh, yeah, it's in yeah. state. The wheels need redoing. Oh, that is nice, isn't it? That's lovely. There's a slight ding on one of the doors, but it didn't mind red to it. Yeah, the bumper isn't sitting right on here. Yeah, the bumper isn't sitting right. No, that's all right. But I think I think it's a lovely outfit. Well. Uh, yes, we like it. I think it's quite cheap for what it is. I thought too much. I thought it was the older shape. No, it's a, when I when I turned up, I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, this is this is really cheap. It's quite it, a lot of miles here, one, two, three. It is, one, two, three, but it is only the two litre. Not one of the new stuff. Yeah, it is only the two litre. As in, not, not need um, repainting. Repainting. Look at the barrel of that. That is horrendous. What? The barrel of it. Barrel? Yeah, the barrel of it. Oh, there. bugger that. It's just dirty. Lovely. Get on the appetizer. Be very comfortable, I'd imagine. It's locked. Yeah, it can do. Give it a 
buff. Yeah, it does need a bit of a buff. Someone's been at the bird poo. You see that a lot, don't you? Has it got a power boot? Uh, not a power boot. Look at those shites. Maybe we should take this up to J-Ski, mate. Maybe. That'll be a rock cruise mobile. Nah, it's just a little popper. What a piece of crap. What a wonderful customer. That's exactly the type of person you want to buy a car from. Yeah. No heated seats, that's a shame. Oh, we've got a pop-up screen. Should we check that out, see if we've got that. Maybe we do have heated seats, I just don't know how it works. Oh, is it just a... Uh... I haven't got a clue on it, have I? <laughs> Look at that! Have we got nav? Yeah. Cruise control. We're sorted, mate, for a uh, little trip up to take that air freshener out. Ooh. Quite a nice bit of new car scent. Have a swift on that. Oh, it's quite strong, isn't it? <laughs> I'll put it back. It's good. Very nice. Well, thank you, Stephen, for watching the channel, visiting carsbuffmore.com and selling us your car. Take good care of it. Should we get this mini started for everything and leave it running? Then I'll go and do something else. Look at the smart car though. So, if you haven't followed regularly, this has become our parts car and we've got the gearbox out of it to put on the other one that's at the farm because this engine's very knocky. And we stole the panels off to put them on another car, a red one that was knackered, not knackered, but the body panels were rough, so we put the panels on there. The red ones are over there. So, uh, ideally we'd take the gearbox off and we'd have the gearbox here, then we'd take it to the scrapyard and that'd be that. Um, and we could fix the other one as and when we got time, but as you can see, tires everywhere. Need to get those cleared out. There's loads of scrap metal and everything under there. That needs sorting out. Um, we got that. This is a customer's car that we sold and we're waiting for another thing. This is a finance car type thing that's come back, we've got to check over. This thing over here failed us MT ages ago. Like, you'll probably look it up. The reg is there, years ago. And it was just like, oh, we need a subframe or whatever. And we've actually got a subframe now. We were gonna start knocking through those things. But since, because obviously we stopped the workshop stuff. We had loads of time to sort out our own stuff, including stuff down the farm. But, what happened was we just started selling more cars like premium cars that we've got good margins in and we still haven't got time so i'm just getting rid of them and it's going to go down there stick the subframe in it not mechanically just literally in the boot and someone can come and buy it as a project that's going to go down there until they're ready to take out the bits they want and clear some space because we need it uh because we are falling over ourselves with cars so uh what do we do with the you've got the mini key I'll take that, I'll pop the bonnie. Hasn't got enough power to even pop the door handle. Much, much, much later. Right. We're fully charged on our top don JS 1500, so we should have no worries starting this little mini. These aren't on offer anymore, I'm afraid, so they're back up to full price. <laughs> but even at full price, absolute bargain. I'll put a link in the description. Um, right, we'll leave that there for Macaulay to fire it up in a minute. Just got to move everything else anyway. But yeah, the problem with buying these sorts of things, it probably owes me about 1600 quid when I bought it. It's probably not even worth that to sell now, retail, if we wanted to, which I definitely do not. 
So even if we got this, you know, through an MOT again now, probably gonna wanna do new tires, new brakes, then it needs a good clean. Have you seen the state of the bloody things on it? Just, I don't wanna be dealing in this crap anymore. I should have called James, Chops Garage, he loves it. He'd have been out here hand painting now on, getting that <laughs> sorted. That's the sort of thing he loves, but not me. Too fat and lazy. Well, no, you can get it on the car and whatever. You just have to make do it in stages, but I'll yeah. move everything else out of the way yeah. first. <laughs> in stages. Huh? <laughs> in stages. Just well, it runs for like 30 <laughs> seconds. Well, I'd say the format will be running for 15 minutes. Alright, let's move into the left. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get the truck. Yeah, I reckon I can get it out there. Do you think the brakes are dragging? A little bit. Right, I might have to move the evoke. Okay. Need something to do with our the jack door. Here, Mark. Oh, people. <laughs> <laughs> it's a head gasket, mate. Oh, then? Uh, it's a head gasket, I can tell. Why are you starting? Oh, I thought that was this then. <laughs> I was like, yeah! It's, it's struggling.
one must at least try some bolognese on the first day because they just, they just keep coming. Oh, definitely eat one. They keep coming. Oh no, they don't keep coming, but I mean, just like my fridge is full of them. And for some reason, they sent me two boxes of stuff, but one week my food didn't even turn up. No, they didn't they're making up for it, but they've only sent like three different dishes. But normally mm. there's like six different types uh, of meal. Did you buy it from Alice? And this time it's just it meatballs. The only reason I ask is we're not doing any kind of work thing. anymore. That's it. Um, only okay. sales, and obviously yeah. someone's bought a car, we're the so, um, offer to MOT at the following year. I've got some hot sauce if you um, want to make it spicy too. Yeah, so spicy meatballs. We, We move to lot number 157, back to the green ones, that's the one in front here, the uh, green one right there, the uh, 2000 is with the Yamaha two-wheel drive, uh, bid me on that one again if you will, where do you want to be, what's it worth, five, I'm on the start, thank you, 500 pounds away at five bid, look at six, 600 on the floor, six mm -hmm. more bid, so we pay much attention to that one, pound a bid. not you online, 607 online now, seven a bid, shake head, thank you, 700 pound a bid, that is an online bid for 700 pound bid, 700 pound a bid, seven down, about 50, 700 Keith can fix it, I think, 50 pound, we have, we, we, we nearly had eight then, didn't we, 700 <laughs> Don't think yeah, it's changed, so you haven't got a bid in, but... It's gone. So, if you want a bid, 750. Thank you. 750. 750 pound a bid. 800 pound bid. 800, we have an 800 pound a bid at 800. Burger on C, I think it was. You are out. You were in for a moment, and now you're out. 850, you're back. Burger on C, well done. 850 pound a bid. What about 9 now? 850 a bid, 850, 850. Devon, you're out. 900 is bid. 900, you're back in now, 900 pound a bit at 9 now, can't we say 50, if it's at 900 pound a bit, do you want to go 50 now, 950 you do, 950 pound a bit at 9 and a half, round it up for 1,000 now, if it's at 950, can I say 1,000, 950 pound a bit at 9 and a half, we all done that at 950, whoops, 950 twice, third and final time, getting it all done now, this time at 950, 950, third and on C, Sold to you. Three, well six, five, seven. Three, six, five, seven. Thank you for Just your bids. Lot number one, sure five, eight is I'm absolutely sure the last one. Oh, you should see it. It's big. This is actually Mark. Hey. Mark's inside here. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how I don't know how these work. No, it's pretty... No, I don't, I don't think it does, mate. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, no, it does. I thought there'd be more room in there. What are you done yeah. yeah, it smells a bit funky. That's what it smells like. There's so much poo. Oh, wait. That's things? We'll just get as many in as we possibly can. Yeah, so yeah, they yeah. filled it with something and then, yeah, yeah just the creamy reminiscence of it. I reckon it's going to be free trips, maybe. Yeah, we need to get that runaway. Yeah, I'll be done in about two minutes. Yeah. So what, what have you done? This is going to the barn. Why? Oh, the tyres? Yeah. Why? 
Horse jumps. Oh, that got thrown. Did you hear about? Probably get a few more in here. Oh, have you done your mouth open? Right, <laughs> right, right. Apparently, there's a hidden stash of uniforms. Is this correct, Toby? Is that the smoke coming from? Really? Have you seen the amount of fire? Yeah, there's been like three big ones and loads of little ones, yeah. yeah. Oh, blimey, how many runs have you done already? This one a horse pit. Well, I thought you might have jetted it out first. Uh, I was thinking of doing that, but that's a waste of time. Well, waste it. Wouldn't have smelled as much of poo, would it? I, I stink of shit now. It's all over me. Oh, where do you want to put, put them down the farm? Because I've. Where are you putting them? Uh, you know, I did the wall that side. I've been doing the wall across the front side now. What, by the container? No, no. no the, the, the big wall thing with a. A shed, the uh, barn. Yeah. Yeah, just put them by the barn for now. And um, there is some nice flowers on part of that bed. Can I go over them? Oh, you gone around the front of it? Yeah. Oh, right. I wouldn't have done that, but... Um... There's not a room on the other side anymore. Huh? I've only done about that much to the front. I've just gone around the corner and done that's about right. two metres. Yeah, that's all right. Um, so can you not just stack higher on the one that you're on? I can. I can, like... It'll be, like, as high as the wall. Or just, like, come out double. Yeah, so I'll, another I'll, row in front. I'll double them and I'll go a bit higher. Cool. Sounds like a plan. That's a plan. Like a plan. Um, I was going to get rid of um, all of that shit there, like, the water stuff and the mattress and then the big container the hydro press came in because that can be burnt down the farm can't it that big yeah box. any of this timber and stuff would be yeah, great yeah i'll just throw the pallets if they can go in there yeah i'll throw to be them fair um you could take a couple of the nicer oil drums down there as well yeah, I'll, I'll be able to do uh, i'll have another one or two runs anyway before because i've got to deliver a car at half four so i'll load it up at four half three isn't it no i said i'll be at there for half ah, four okay. so i'll load it up at like quarter to four four-ish and then take it there um, yeah. To be honest, you could take those um, smart car bumpers and everything down there as well. Yeah, I'll just throw that. All, all the lights off. As much shit as we can get down there, it'd be great. Yeah, that's fine. And um, then we need to do a scrap run, which we'll do next week. Yeah, what I'll do then is I'll put the tyres in, throw the light shit on top, and I'll come back and get some of the barrels, some of the pallets, and some of the other bits. <laughs> I assume you've tried to take this off? Yes. So we get the plastic clip off. I'm sure there's probably a better way to do this, but I want to go my lunch break in there. Do 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 do. So works. Oh yeah, it will work. Yeah. It would definitely work, it's just probably not the right way to do it. But where's the fun in that? There's a camera down. <laughs> Do 
There we go. Super long. I'll leave the screw on the floor so you can drive over it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, man, no, that's ideal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Mark, you missed a bit, mate. It's dirty under here. Jobs are good and set. £225? Yeah, this is, um, this is 119, so where's 120? Like, yeah, but hang on. A Mazda 323. Who's buying this? Joe, Joe's favourite car. It's his dream car. A Mazda 323 for £225 is worth about £25. Um, yeah, but... Stuff the traffic down. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to drive, I may just walk down and drive it back. <laughs> Honestly, what? It's like 0.4 of a mile walk. Get it started, will it drive? The handbrake's flipping there, the clutch is flipping. It's a pile of rust. Good morning, Colleen. Good morning. Looking for me? Uh, I was, yeah. Um, this 323 T Reg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, like, just want to make sure you're aware of it. Oh yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know, is it bank transfer or giving them cash or? Uh, bank transfer, I would have thought. Bank yeah. transfer, yeah, that's fine. Do you know if it starts and drives, if I can just walk down there and pick it up? I think it does. Uh, I may just, cause like, Take a jump out with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I may just walk, instead of driving the truck down there, it's on the main road. I may just walk there, it's like five minute walk. No worries. Uh, yeah. Sadly, my little electric bike thing's not here. <laughs> I can buzz that down the road. Just checking the MOT of the truck, because I know it ran out. Oh yeah. Yeah, very shortly, but never went. Well, we've got a green truck, so we can yeah. stop over. But yeah, we need to book that in with uh, Collie Lane. Collie Lane. Truck and boots. Uh, to the 24th, yeah, we've got 14 days. That's right, we can get on by then, I reckon. Uh, maybe, we had to wait ages last time. Right, I'm gonna go see Mr. Phillips, is it? Phillips? Could be. Um, Duncan, you're on a cake. It is, I'm going to go see Philip. Oh, right. Go see Philip. I'll just walk. Oh, oh they're going to put it in the workshop, isn't it? I'm just going to send it down there. There's right. the course again. Ah, uh, who knows? No one knows what's going on. Okay. What do you think? Did you like trying? No. No, that's not. No. But yeah, they're coming down for payment, and then they have the whole service issue of the vehicle, I believe. They've owned Spare Key? Uh, yeah, they've owned it since 1998, I think. Uh, it's a mint art. It is a little bit rusty underneath. Oh, look, look, under, look under the back. For the charge, is it? Yeah. The biggest one. You feel free. I don't know if you need the biggest one, but you have it. Yeah, I need the biggest one. Would you buy it? I've never seen one in my life. I've never seen one of those things. Master 323. Yep. It's kind of cool, that Classic actually. sports car. Want to buy it? Well, who's my dog's son before? Sheesh! A little bit of wood veneer trim. It is mint. What is the mileage on it? It smells like an ashtray. That's nice. What's the mileage on it? 50 something, I think. The key's in the, in the thing. 53, I think it is. Yeah, sports model. It's got the sports wheel trims on. <laughs> it's the F. Five spoke. Oh, what does that say? That lead you put on the thing for Sam, is it? Oh, what's Sam then? What's that else? I should find that. The bike's got a ring in. What was that? Did you put notes on there? That's... Yeah, there is notes. Ah, right. That's, yeah. It says Rav. Yeah, from I Scotland. Is, is a YouTube fan, is interested in our whatever. Yeah. He wants to know what's been done on it recently. Yeah. He's uh, happy to fly down from Scotland to Bristol, or yeah. he can. I said we could probably pick you up from Bristol. Yeah. Um, okay. I said I didn't know what the, the recent work was, but you knew about the car yeah, yeah. and whatever. So, so. Definitely not Sam. Not Sam. They, they lie to you. It doesn't start. It's not started for years. I asked him. He's like, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. Really? Does it? That's a good question. Because he told Don't me that stuff. <laughs> he told me I hadn't started for ages. Tell me you didn't buy a car with no bloody MOT. 
<laughs> well, we've not paid them yet. So <laughs> yeah, not, not yet. Oh, that's true. I mean, we probably could scrap it for the same sort of money, but... Oh, we can scrap this. That's it. Alright, well, you buy it then. Oh, if it was a free door, I would be more keen on buying it. But who wants a four-door sports car? I'm sure he said when he phoned out was... You told me I'd start No it? vehicle details are held, apparently. P378 H... Oh, DP. I thought it was F. He couldn't get it to start. He had a he trickle charge. Not MOT. Not an MOT since 20... 20. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> right, let's get it booked in tomorrow then. She'll fly through. Well, you just said it was really rusty underneath. Yeah, but it's, there's no holes. I've had a poke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that's a kind of that Take it back. Hey. Sixty-eight should be. Yeah. Oh, McCordy wants to buy it, so. Oh, I don't know about that. Seventy-five quid. Seventy-five. Go in twice. Anyone? Three hundred. Do I have three hundred in the room? Come on, Toby. No. What are you doing? That one. <laughs> that's good. Petrol one, I think. Look at that. that is, tell me that's not a sports machine. Look at the futuristic lights on that. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's a cool little car, but it'd be cool if it had three doors. What does that sound? I mean, I will, I will admit, I'm quite impressed with the condition of it. It's kind of cool, but then I have three cars. Can't keep buying cars. Yeah, I can. It's going to need new tyres though. These are from like, probably 2020. Should we give it a rep? Sorry. This rep blows up. Um. <laughs> That's a good start. The mat's on the way, is it? What the? Oh, the full body stuck. Look at that. Let's get some jobbing to 40 on that. But I reckon this has been really well looked after. If you'd let me take it home on the truck, and it was cheap, I think I reckon, I reckon it would. Oh, oh no. I, mean, I don't know what the plan is, but I wouldn't unload it here. No? How much are you going to sell it for? No idea. I'm, I'm tempted to buy it, but it depends on it's cheap. The throttle doesn't work. 250, she's yours. I'll, I'll give you 250 for it. Hold out your hands. That's how you make 25 quid. <laughs> <laughs> a really good like citrus over everything uh, Once I spray this, I'll, I'll get that. do that shall I set up the new snow foam that we got go on oh, and then you, so you can put we need to put a load of acid stuff on the wheels yeah that would be ruined you can even try the, the windows in that work please remember that's for you have you made that yet? for the same stuff for 24 quid you get from this easy detailing if you bought the same stuff in like auto glim Oh, yeah. You'd be looking at spending like 240 quid, yeah. literally, if not more, 10 yeah. times as much. Yeah. Warning, causes severe skin burns and eye damage. <laughs> That's how you know it's good. We can test on Toby. We're saying you can get 10 of, these, 10 of these different types of products in a kit on the TikTok shop. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, my TikTok handle is shifting.metal. And I've got a little shop of all the products that you know I like and use and whatever. And you can find them there. Uh, Toby will put a picture up of the whole kit. You get all sorts for 24 quid. Absolute bargain. Yeah. Get a clean 
So it's put an inch in to your easy lance. I don't know how big the easy there lance is. So I think ours is probably bigger. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go strong with it. Should I use some non-acidic first? We won't find out, aren't we? This will be the one wheel that we test with the... Oh, better turn the old schnozzle on. Jesus, look at the state of this one. Just get the pull. Does it? Yeah, mate. Like literally, I sit in the core the other way down there. I was expecting this to be ropey as hell, but no, it's nice and smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely, lovely, mate, for what it is. It's turning purple. No, this is red seven. It's like the iron fallout remover. I am going to get a uh, adapter for this, then we can just have, just or just get a out. whole new thing. Yeah, you know, I've seen that. This is a partial thing. Because it's, it's, it's not foaming, is it? Doesn't seem to mean matter what product I put in here. It just doesn't foam. So it's always shat on it. Oh. <laughs> Stuff's working pretty good too. Probably better, to be honest. That is better. Tell you what, boys, the bike is pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, it's better than Red 7. Let's just clean that wheel like perfect. Oh! Compared to the yeah, that obviously that's a non. This is non acidic. Yeah. So if that comes off that well with a non-acidic one... I've just realised like, this isn't even... Um, they're not even out of hoop wheels, are they? They're the little... The fake trim ones. Yeah. yeah. Like, I thought they were. Yeah, I was. Well, I was looking like, why is it... Yeah, that comes off that well. Fucking 24 pounds. Because we might have a preferred thing, but if you're buying like a whole kit, just an easy. Well, yeah, I was gonna say if because obviously we've got such a range of vehicles as well. Like if you sort of went right, we're gonna use the expensive products for say, you know, the Audis, the Beamers, the the stuff like that, it and then we start use as optional extras. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> optional extras. Yeah. Do you want your? Do you want an auto glim one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's a beauty, isn't she? 
Uh, the lady's there to drive the focus. So I'm going to have to touch her. Okay, all right. I will. Yeah, I have a busy day tomorrow. I've got um, somebody come to see the A class, the A one eighty. Yeah. Somebody come to see something I've forgotten, and somebody else come to see the Audi Estate. The lad who bought an A four off as a couple of years ago is just written off. Or the A six, yeah. A six. Superb. So yeah, it might be a busy day tomorrow, actually. I'll be around, so give me a shout if you get. Oh, I should be right, but yeah, I'd roll up better than mine. Just some work Sundays. It does when there's commission on the line. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Well, right, it's hands. really good. Yeah, I mean, they're not even brushed them. I think you brush them, you get the last final bits, but you have to, I reckon I've, I've left all the other three wheels soaking now. Yep, give and, me a spray. Uh, well, do the rest of the car first, because that's getting dry now, yep. you don't want it to dry. Do the rest of the car, get all the grime and shizzle out. Mm -hmm. Pop the bonnet, do some citrus under there. Yeah. You got like, yeah, you got shit growing in there. Yeah. <laughs> Just get the worst of it off, and then do the wheels after. Sweet. Once they've done their work. Yeah. Um, I've done the, um, I've done the hoovering from this, the, the yeah, driver's side. I've not done the other side just yet. I just want to know how far I really have to go. Yeah, I mean that'll be good enough. I think just yeah, well, I'll miss the three hundred and fifty quid car, like. Yeah, yeah, it does. I think Lovely. Right, the end of another week. It's another Saturday. Glorious sunshine. So this road has been super busy today because everyone's going down the beach to have their barbecues and leave their rubbish everywhere. Uh, but yeah, this road's been gridlocked. It's nice to have the sun all the same. You feel like a different person when the sun comes out. Just instantly lifts your mood. Everyone's happy. So that's good news. Uh, we got our Nissan Navara going out today. That's all paid for. That's one that came via James at Chop's Garage as well. We did sell that like a month ago, if not more, six weeks. Um, the guy put a big deposit on it and was waiting for a pension payment, I think. So that's that's going out today. Um, trying to think what else is happening. We might, might, I think, Jason's just sort of in the talks of getting the deposit sold the rs4 now got a nice bloke who's been sorting out bits and pieces and speaking with jason i think i think that one's going to be gone which is a bit sad but you know it's business we've got to sell everything i suppose um and yeah no one's bought our last cars last cars last week's car of the week which is the disco yeah the nice white one and we did have um in fact when it comes to we've got to do Best car bought, best car sold, and like biggest issue and biggest win of the week, haven't we? We've got two things that have been like biggest headaches this week. Well, biggest headache is a Cougar that's out the front, and Toby will go and show you that in a minute. Uh, just because we've been waiting on one little part to come in, and the first one didn't come, came, it got lost by DHL, so we had to order another little part, a little sensor to do with like the blind assist thing. Uh, so we've ordered another one that came by Royal Mail and that did turn up today but we plugged it in and it's it's not quite worked I think it now needs programming by someone but the customers have been desperate to get it they've been phoning every day and they need to go they're like buying it and then driving somewhere else with it immediately and blah 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 it's just it's one of those irritating things where it could, just would have been nice if everything just could have worked out but it didn't and it's kind of delayed and now we're still not sorted but hopefully Monday it will be sorted and the other one was the Disco that you probably did see a video on, uh, us buying at auction. We had someone reserve the 2012 Disco via the Auto Trader 99 pound reserve thing. So Jason phoned him up as he did next morning and said, uh, oh, we've put a reservation on our Disco. Um, when would you like to come and see it? And he sort of said, oh, well, let's come and test drive it, you know, in a week or something. He's like, oh, okay, well, are you actually seriously, you know, you want to buy it? Do you want to put down our 200 pound deposit or is it you're just sort of viewing it and he just wanted to view it, so we waited a week with it not being available to sell to anyone else, and then now he's come back a few days after the viewing to say, no, it's not quite what I'm looking for. Which, it's just bullshit, isn't it? Because it is a really nice car. He knows all the details of it before. There's nothing wrong with it. It's like a really good example, better than you could expect, really. So I think he just kind of changed his mind. So a bit of a nuisance with this Auto Trader £99 reservation fee thing. It's good in a sense when people are serious, but when people are, uh, you know, just doing it because they think they can reserve the car for a week or two to get a test drive. And I've heard reports of people 
because it's only £99 and it's always refundable, you're never going to lose that money. People have like put a reservation on like four or five cars at one dealer so that no one else can have them and they can come and test drive them all. That wouldn't fly here, I'd lose my lid. But yeah, so that was a headache, but probably the other one was even more of a headache. And best result, um, best result I think is, where's our, we got a Mercedes CLA here. And just randomly, out of the blue, chap turned up in a very nice white BMW M5 2013. I was like, oh, I'm interested in this. And I need to sell my car. Um, and do you want to... Basically, we're just going to do a straight swap. So we're swapping this 2.1 diesel uh, Mercedes CLA, which is probably 150 horsepower, for a BMW M5 that's 551 horsepower. Probably the most powerful car I've ever had at Barra Motors. Or in my life, to be honest, as a, something that I've owned. Could possibly be the highest horsepower car I've ever driven. I don't know. But, yeah, so that's going to be coming in about a week. So that'd be fun. That's something to look forward to. We'll definitely do a video on that. So that was a nice result because I just wasn't expecting it. And, you know, just quite cool, wasn't it? Then we've got to do best car bought, best car sold. So, uh, I haven't bought that much this week, have I? I don't think. Best car sold... Um, I probably would have said that as well. Maybe that's what I was planning to do. I can't remember. We haven't sold that many, have we? Jason's just sold. Uh, no, is it an automatic focus we've got? No, that's the red one. What has he sold? We might have to go inside and have a look. I can't remember, but we were absolutely flying in April. We're not going as fast this month, that's for sure. So, was the A6 this week? I think it was. That could be car of the week, couldn't it? Today? Oh, has he sold it, has he? We bought it, as in best car bought, from a subscriber, Stephen. That's a really nice car. I think that was this week. If not, it was towards the end of last week. We'll just say that because I can't remember. And then we just got to figure out what the best car sold is. Let's head inside and have a look. Put the deposit on that so it's sold. Nice. Well, that's one then. He's just taking a deposit on that. Uh, I suppose we could say the BMW 520i, which you won't be able to get getting footage of because it's not here anymore because we've already sold and delivered it. That was a really nice car. We bought that from Aston Barkley. I don't know if we did any stuff on that, but a really nice blue one, petrol, cream interior. But strangely, it didn't, didn't get that much interest. But that's sold and gone now. Did you sell the A6? Tomorrow. Oh, they come and look at it tomorrow. Did we do we buy the A6 in this week? Yes. It was this week, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so best car sold, we said, didn't we? 520i. So that's that. And best car bought, Audi A6. So that is it for this week. It's been quite a good week. We've had Ian from Dealer Kit in giving us some new software for our kind of accounting sales, all that sort of stuff, keeping track of the cars. That well it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but a great system so I'm excited to get that on board and make things really efficient and I can look at all the data and see how much we're selling and how much I'm making or losing sometimes but hopefully this will help us make more and yeah that's it so a lot of our competitions on feel-good competitions have now ended but the course of VXR is still running and shall I do another little I might do another little discount for this weekend we did it the previous weekend when we we're finishing off which is actually now today as far as we're filming this the thousand pounds cash raffle and the watch will be ending and i did a little discount called which was jack 25 so you get 25 percent off i'm going to do that again for just this weekend when you're watching this the saturday and the sunday that'll be the 18th and 19th of may use code jack 25 or feel good competitions you get an extra 25 percent off on any of the competitions that are raising money for jack by then i will have added some more but I can't tell you what they are yet. So make sure you check out the website and find out what they are. Other than that, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. If you subscribe and you're one of my subscribers, when we hit 75,000 subscribers, you'll be in a chance of winning that 2,000 pound tag for your watch. It's completely free. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps me out. So win-win. That is it for this week. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you next week.